Hello guys, welcome to my uh, Atlas Reactor First Impressions video. I'm going to quickly go over it. I'm going to look at it through a casual standpoint, through a competitive standpoint, so many two things a game needs to survive. And I want to say, first and foremost, casually, this game is very pretty. This game has a very nice soundtrack, as you can hear. This game has a lot of ways to get you started, like these how to play videos, guides, all this stuff. It has a very nice forums. Uh, the community is pretty, pretty nice actually at uh, explaining things to you. And uh, from what I've seen, the community, it's even cool how the community, a lot of people play tanks. And if you guys don't know why, I'll quickly go over it. In MOBAs, um, you'll play tanks in the beginning because it's easier mechanically and easier to learn the game through doing so, which makes me think that a lot of the community in this game has played MOBAs before. Uh, unfortunately, though, that leads to a lot of people having like five tank teams, or four tank teams, sorry, and three tank teams and all this, and that's not the best, but it's actually doable in this game, which is really cool. That's another thing for casual players, that you can make a comp out of all tanks. You can make a comp out of all DPSs. You can make a comp out of all these things, and it'll work. Um, they have a tutorial, which pretty good at explaining the basics, although there's one part where it alludes to it's going to have hazards in the game, which I hope it eventually gets, which is a pretty cool mechanic, and I hope it actually goes into the play, but as of right now, I've not seen any uh, hazards or anything. You know, you have your bots, you have five different difficulties of bots, and these bots are not to be sneezed at, guys. They are actually pretty freaking hard. Uh, they play like most players would play. They obviously have your PvP. I haven't unlocked ranked yet, so I don't know what that's like. Your PvP, it goes PvP. by pretty quickly. It's, uh, you get first team to five kills, and, or first, or team to have the most kills by the time time runs out, which, the timer's actually pretty long, it's like 15 to 20 minutes if I can remember right, uh, but five kills is not very hard to get to at all. You have a decent amount of characters, although I would argue this is the biggest thing that it, they need is just more characters to play as, right? Because obviously you're gonna run through these characters pretty quickly, but, that being said, these characters are very well done, they're all very significant, they're all very uh, independent, they all have different kind of ways to play the game, and none of them, no two styles are alike. And uh, one of the, the other thing is that this game has very Ratchet and Clank style kind of comedy, which is very good for it in my opinion. And say, wait, this guy right here, he runs around doing kind of like these little cords that he attaches to people. And then when he attaches them, he can shoot radiation through them, and if it's an ally he's attaching it to, then he'll heal them. If it's an enemy, then he'll deal damage. And it's just funny seeing him like run around, following you around with a little cord attached to you, and he says some stuff like, I'm a shooting star, and he'll say like, well, I got your heals, just don't go swimming for, you know, the next couple of days you'll die. <laughs> he's just a really funny character, pretty awesome. Uh, the skins in this game, which is something that everyone's gonna like, you can buy them with in real life money. But, from what I've heard, you can actually earn these skins through playing the game. Mind blown. That's really cool, really awesome. They have these, you know, you have your normal abilities, but you have mods for each ability, which these can be unlocked, and you can also just spend 500 coins, which is... Like that, that's chump change. So, you got these mods that make your abilities do different things, and you have it for each one of your abilities with each hero, which is very cool and unique. And then you have Catalyst, which these are kind of like your summoner spells from League of Legends. And you can start out with all of these, at least so far I've seen you start out with all of them. Critical Shot, you gain Might, you know, you got all these things, you have your actual flashes, but the flashes, this is the main one I want to talk about. You have where you teleport a medium distance, which is exactly like Flash. But you could Fade, which is where you teleport a short distance, but you become invisible. Which is really good for certain characters that need to get out of sticky situations, but they also do a lot of damage when up close. And then you have this ability, which is really good for tanks. Teleport a short distance and root adjacent enemies at the ending destination. Every character has taunts. When you it use tingles, but it's worth it. For me, not you. Awesome. But if it tingles, it's working. If it burns, it's working. I'm a miniature reactor! Watch me fly! Reorganizing your atoms. So everyone has the, everyone has all of those the rods, the taunts, and you have the eyes as well. The taunts are really well put together. You can earn them pretty easily uh, through in-game currency. Uh, it does take a little bit though. It's forty thousand to unlock a taunt for a character, or all the taunts for one character. Okay, 
And then one more casual thing is lore wise. The lore is pretty good. You have current trust wildcard, basically from what I can tell, because they don't actually explain it to you. Wildcard basically just means they're after their own interests. Uh, robotics are basically these guys who design these robots. And I mean, they don't really Here tell you what go. their, you know, uh, actual, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, ambitions are in the game, but you can kind of tell by the characters. It seems like the robots are overall pretty nice guys. The Evos are basically these bioengineered creatures for the most part. Like, you see all the Evos are bioengineered, some kind of monster or something. And, uh, and you can tell from every- they have quite a few maps in the game, one of the maps is Evos, and you see all these animals getting bio biologically engineered and tampered with. And then you got Omni. Omni just seems like the straight up kind of empire kind of style. Time for you action. See from her and just, uh, but then, well maybe not, because Asuna is a very nice person. Ready she seems to be one of the nice people. She's, she has this ability called Guardian Angel, she tries to protect people under every circumstance. Uh, I guess you got good people everywhere, because one part's a pretty nice one too, but... All the characters have very unique personalities, very cool personalities. Uh, definitely, they're all very well done. Like I said though, it would be nice to have more characters in the game. Competitive-wise, games are really short, which is pretty good, although I haven't played ranked yet. The game can be played, you don't need a healer, you don't need tanks, you don't need firepower, you can do all tank teams with one support, you can do all support teams with one tank. You can do anything and you can actually win the game. Uh, obviously you get a little bit of disadvantage, but it's still good, because they don't actually have a system where you can get uh, balanced teams all the time. Uh, my personal favorite characters right now are some tanks and gray. It's pretty cool because you can go to your profile. And you can look at their actual stats, and see health, damage, all this stuff. And you can really, there should be at least one hero in this game that you like, that you're going to want to play. Um, and every one, like I said, has a very unique playstyle, which keeps the game's longevity to go a little bit further, which is very good, because you don't want every character to feel the same, feel like they're doing the exact same. The way the game plays is basically like XCOM mixed with a MOBA, uh, which coming from I've been really high ELO in League of Legends, I've been really high ranked in Hearthstone, uh, I never liked in card games how you had forever to think because someone could just sit there for days just thinking about what play they're going to make and it would always be agitate me because I'm just like, I can think of my play in two seconds, why can't you, you know? Uh, but I always didn't really like in MOBAs so how it's all about muscle memory and reaction time because sometimes you feel like you want to take a little bit longer to think and maybe it'll give you a little bit of an advantage. So in this game you got 20 second timers on every turn, and then you have these phases where certain moves go before others, your move, your actual move is the last move that'll be made, and you can make a blast move, which is usually your damage moves, and then there's these other moves, I forgot what they're called, but they can be used to prep, and there's these other moves which are escapes, which come before your actual move, but they count for your move if you use them, so then you don't move, if that makes sense. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good rundown of the game. Uh, Store-wise, like I said, everything can be earned in this game, so I would not be too scared about that, which is pretty cool. But the game does cost, at, at least right now, on sale $20. It is an open beta this weekend, so I highly encourage people to play and try out. You get bonuses for playing with party, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, guys, just have fun with the game. Like I said, coming from a background of Hearthstone and League and playing a lot of competitive games, I think this game could do good, we just need to see how well they balance it. We need to see if they can make more heroes, because obviously just 17 heroes isn't gonna, you know, that's not gonna get big, right? Uh, but I think I think it has potential, I think Atlas Reactor could be a pretty good game, and so far I'm really enjoying it, I'm really having fun myself, and uh, I hope you guys do too. Hope to see you on the Reactor Battlefield. Love you all.